Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm so excited to be back with you all once again on this bougie budget diva journey. This particular item here is going to be a, an unboxing on an authentic piece from Louis Vuitton. As many of you know, um, I love Louis Vuitton, period, you know. Um, however, you know, if there's certain items and pieces that, that aren't available at the time when I want it, I will purchase a dupe, replica, however you want to call it, item until Louis Vuitton gets it. Louis Vuitton has a thing right now where there's not hardly or barely anything available on their, on their site. So there's a lot of things that I want. I have a huge wish, wish list from Louis Vuitton. And this piece was one of them that I absolutely had on my wish list. It came, it became available. I called my essay and as a matter of fact, yeah, yeah, I called my essay and it was available. So I ordered it um, and I had it delivered to the store. And yeah, so I went to go pick it up and I'm gonna unbox it with you all, but it's not a brand new unboxing. Let me just be clear on that. This is, um, I had this bag for about a week now. Um, when I first, you know, brought the bag home, I did unbox it because I was so excited to get it or whatever the case may be. Long story short, I did have my goddaughter on the line with me and the excitement level that I had when I brought the box home and everything, it was, I was so excited. But then when I opened it and I saw the, the purse, I mean, my excitement went to like disappointment really quick. Um, and I'll explain to you here shortly, whatever the case may be, but I'm going to go ahead and start taking it out of the bag. So let me come around here. that um you know they sent it to me in this beautiful big box here because i've been seeing some videos where they actually stuffed this particular item in a smaller box which was just crazy anyways let's get it started so i'm gonna move my keyboard out the way move that out the way magnetic yeah this is the magnetic box so that's cute so let's get this out the way I actually can probably just leave it here in the video maybe maybe not but anyways I like my background better <laughs> so anyways I'll move the box out the way and this is the dust bag that it that she came in gorgeous so so let me just share with you the story when I pulled this out this um, dust bag when I first got her about a week ago it took about two two days for this bag to for me to manipulate this bag to even sit up like this granted I've done tons and tons and I've watched I'm sorry I've watched tons and tons of unboxing videos and um, the way how this bag was presented in the box was just just Horrid, 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 horrid. Um, so anyways, um, the quality of the bag, was, it, it was just unreal. And, you know, the, the bottom was just so puffed up. It, I don't know, you can see it right here or whatever. And I know it takes a while for the bags to relax, the, the um, canvas to relax, whatever, which I'm, I, I'm 
fairly, you know, understanding that part, but just the condition of the bag, um, it was just horrible, whatever. And I was a little bit disappointed um, because it just was not right. But nevertheless, I absolutely love, you know, this um, Neverfull. It's beautiful. Um, however, there is some craftsmanship issues that I'm going to go over um, in another video. But in this video here, I'm just going to um, let you know exactly, you know, what I see pretty much. Um, with the natural eye, let me see if I can get close here. Everything looks good as far as the stitching is concerned. There, stitching looks good there. Everything looks good there. It's a little, you know, wonky here, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. Blazing. Looks really good. Hard of it looks good. And when you turn it around, the one thing that I um, notice as well on this, because I normally, you know, it's the craftsmanship for me. I look at everything, whatever the case may be. And I want you to see here um, the difference, okay? If you can see here, like when the strap falls, whatever, you know, it's, it's pretty evident that, you know, everything looks pretty together on this side, right? Okay? So you look there, everything looks together. Now, I want you to take a look. Um, let's see here, something that I noticed right here. I don't know if you can see it. I can't get it close up right here. This right here, right here. It, it, I don't know what's going on with that or whatever. It's something happened there. I don't know what's going on with this. It's, it's something happened here. Um, as you notice, the other, the other, you know, straps don't do that. But if you look here, this vachetta, something's going on here. I mean, it's pretty bad. You see, you see that when it, the strap falls, it's pretty bad here. Okay. Um, I've already called Louis Vuitton or whatever about that issue and, um, Things of that need so this bag is going to be exchanged. Uh, so, but I just wanted to do this video first. So, anyways, um, let's go here. Look on the inside here. The inside. It's nice. And you have this. Beautiful pink ballerina interior. Everything looks good. Now, the only thing, um, one thing that I did notice that um, I looked at one of my other bags, and I'm going to do a, a quick um, comparison in another video, is this zipper pull here. That's not supposed to be a gap. There's not supposed to be a gap here, okay? And that is definitely poor craftsmanship to me, the gap. And I'll show you in another um, comparison video here shortly. Also, um, the zipper pull does not go all the way over here. If you look right here, it's a gap there as well. I'm all about quality and things of that nature. And this one is the newer version. Of course, it doesn't have a date code in here. So the newer versions, you, they have a scan code that you can only scan in Louis Vuitton to access actually get access to it so this is just a quick unboxing video that i wanted to show you all of the angles of the louis vuitton bag before i do my comparison video okay i know a lot of people like to see the side the side line up 
This is the authentic, authentic, beautiful. Okay, and let's see, this side here. That looks good as well. Um, the inside pouch. <clears throat> this is how it looks. And <clears throat> of course the strap. And then the other side. In this side, this side right here. Everything looks very good as far as the stitching is concerned. The only thing that I have a concern about again is the zipper pull has a gap here. It should all it should all it should be pretty much flush to the all the way to the end. It should not be a gap there. And also here as well. Okay. That is that, and you know how the gals like to do it like this right here. And do it as like a wristlet or whatever. And rock it as a wristlet by itself, whatever case may be. If you don't want to take the whole bag in the store, just put all your cards, keys in here, inside of it. And this is the, um, I forgot to go over the details on it. This is the, the, the Neverfull MM in the Azure Ballerine print or color, the interior is ballerine print or whatever, and that's the code. And it's coated fabric cowhide leather trim. Right there. And this particular piece right here was made in the U.S. Okay, so it was made in the U.S. Um, I've already contact contacted Louis Vuitton in reference to um, the Vachetta on this particular bag, and um, I will be returning it for another one. And they um, already said I have the return envelope and everything, or the return, you know. UPS information. I think I showed you the inside. Let me show it to you again. Inside there. Pretty big. Yep. So yes, this is just a quick unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. See, look at that. It's just buckled up. This is a brand new piece or whatever it should be like this not buckled up like that right there and then when the strap what I, my concern is when because the straps is always going to fall it's, it's going to fall that this particular piece right here it already has issues now i can just imagine you know the future here you know and it looks like it's not going to take long for this to really start really acting up and start you know real really getting um worse so that's that was my concern and this this bag cost me sixteen hundred dollars sixteen plus okay so um with uh, that amount of money that right there is an issue that needs to be addressed and that's that's Louis Vuitton not Keisha okay so anywho thank you so much for joining me on this awesome unboxing video of my Louis Vuitton Azure M.M. Ballerine, Rose Ballerine Interior. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate y'all supporting me. And I'll be back with a comparison video for this particular piece and the replica. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Talk to y'all later. Bye.